Winter in the Rockies is a stubborn season at best, and Clemens and I can see and feel it hanging on as we drive higher into the San Juan Mountains of southeastern Colorado. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey Lance, Corey Richards. Corey, it's pleasure. Good to finally meet you. Yeah, you too. Yeah. All yeah, right. so this is her. This is the new Cullinan. Holy cow, that's an impressive vehicle there. Yeah, well, we just drove her up from uh, from Ure, right? And so she, she did really well on the roads up to here. Yeah, we're pretty near some old mines, right? We are. I couldn't even tell you how many, but they had this whole area, it's uh, it was uh, very popular all, all the way from uh, the early 1850s and 60s, you know, all the way into the later 1900s. Was it mostly gold and silver? You know, they pulled out, you know, millions and millions of dollars of both gold and silver. You know, they always come out with uh, other minerals as well, you know, as they're mining, because, you know, you're digging a big hole in the ground and everything. Was it possible to drive up and check out some of that area, check out one of the mines? So are we going to take this? Of course we do. Come on, come on let's see what it can you. do. After meeting Lance, he explains to us that when gold and silver was struck in the mid to late 1800s, the steep alpine valleys filled with small communities that diligently carved the metal from the hills. The dangerous work extended year-round with communities overwintering above 10,000 feet, locked in by the heavy snows. If miners survived in the mines, it wasn't uncommon that they were lost to avalanches, cold, or exposure. As the road worsens and Clemens takes us deeper, it's hard to imagine the endurance it must have taken to simply survive here let alone thrive. 